Ladies and gentlemen, before your astonished eyes, I will perform an extraordinary feat of incredible magic. Trust me, sir, there won't be any pain. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Behold, hidden within this good man's ear, my friends, is an egg. And yes, within this egg, a bouquet of flowers. These are for you, miss, and yet they pale next to your striking beauty. Oh. That didn't hurt, now did it? It's less painful than paying taxes levied by Prince John. <laughs> Bravo! 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 My regrets, people, this competition's too strong. Hear ye, hear ye! By order of our beloved Prince John, sovereign of the Kingdom of England, let it be known that Lady Rowena of Torkelston has hereby been found guilty of high treason! <gasps> Said lady is thus condemned to banishment from the realm for such time oh. as His Majesty sees fit! And so be it! What happened? Front of Booth must have found the secret passage! Oh, hmm. By thunder, how dare you make that announcement, Balvoisine? Declaring Lady Rowena treasonous will fulfill all your desires. And what if I'm asked what treason she's guilty of? Don't you worry, Your Highness. We'll find grounds. What is this announcement supposed to achieve, Malvoisine? You know very well I would never banish Lady Rowena. I understand that you love Lady Rowena, but Ivanhoe also loves the lady. Enough! Your sarcasm is maddening. Lady Rowena will love me if I have to use force! That won't be necessary, sire. Announcing her banishment has one specific goal, to provoke Ivanhoe into reacting. I'm warning you, Malvoisine, if Rowena is kidnapped, you and only you will be held personally responsible. Ivanhoe is not likely to use force. He'll want to make an arrangement. An arrangement? Well, what do you mean? Ivanhoe has two passions, King Richard and Rowena. Will you stop speaking in riddles, Malvoisine? My plan is simple, Your Highness. We'll trade the lady's freedom for Ivanhoe's pledge to stop supporting King Richard. You mean he would renounce the struggle and thereby abandon my brother Richard to his fate for Lady Rowena? I'm sure of it, for love conquers all, Your Highness. But after betraying Richard, he will lose forever the love of Lady Rowena. <laughs> I can't sit here and do nothing! I must go and save Rowena! If Front de Boeuf has discovered the passage, he'll be waiting for you, he and his men! He's hoping you'll go, Ivanhoe. And what am I to do then? Wait? No, I won't! I'm going to Master Albert's Inn to see if the secret passage is still intact. No, let me go! He's right, Ivanhoe. Your presence would arouse suspicion. Fine. I'll accompany you to the gates of Torkelston, Harold. I'll go too. We'll follow behind you in case there's trouble. I assure you, Sir Harold, I've noticed nothing out of the ordinary. If the passage had been discovered, I wouldn't be here now. How peculiar. Everything appears to be normal. Very strange, this. What treasonous act could Rowena possibly have done? Except for the secret passage, why accuse her? Master Albert claims he's seen nothing suspicious. Hmm. Aha! What if it's all a ploy? Another one of Prince John's tricks. Well, how can we be sure? By going to see Rowena. Meet me at Rotherwood. <laughs> Banish me from England? You must be joking, my dear. I assure you, milady, the prince announced your banishment for high treason. What? Who could I have betrayed? The prince is convinced that I'm unable to leave the castle unescorted. I'll get to the bottom of this, my lady. I must go now. <gasps> Hear me, my friends. This charge of treason is a sham. Their plan is to set up a trap, and I'll let them think that it's working. You know it's a trap, yet you want to dive in head first? Well, yes, of course, but with protection. Wamba, I'm going to be needing you. M me? Well, yeah, sure. Come, Wamba, a bit of courage. What I need you to do is find that magician we saw today. Ooh. All right, I'll go. Rebecca, go fetch me ink and paper. And what about me, Ivanhoe? Well, Harold, you'll be doing something dangerous. Aha! There he is! 
Excuse me, sir. The great knight Ivanhoe saw your show this morning, and he'd really like to see you up at his castle. Would you be able to come along with me? Hmm. All right. Take me there. Well, now. Speech flies away, but writing stays. I really don't understand your plan. What are all these parchments for? I found him, Ivanhoe! Perfect, Wamba. Oh, that magician, just what we need. Delighted to meet you, friend. It's an honor to welcome such a talented artist. An artist who wasn't able to finish his show. I saved the biggest bouquet for the lovely young maiden. Thank you. How kind. <laughs> you didn't invite me here to talk about my act. Quite true. I have a favor to ask, and it requires your special talents. My special talents? Well, here they are. My good man, I need to see Prince John. <laughs> Why not the Pope? Tell him I've got a message from Ivanhoe. Snap to it or you'll be sorry. All right, I'm going. A stranger wants to see His Highness Prince John claims he's a messenger sent by Ivanhoe. Have him wait in my chambers. I will go and fetch His Majesty. Are you? That's not important. I've come on behalf of Sir Ivanhoe, who has entrusted me with a delicate matter. How do we know you're telling the truth? Here. Quite reliable, Your Highness. His personal seal and his signature. It bears the seal of Rotherwood, his coat of arms. On this parchment, clearly stated in black and white, Sir Ivanhoe has proclaimed his intention to abandon all attempts to restore Richard to the throne of England, if Your Highness agrees to pardon Lady Rowena. He is thus betraying King Richard. Isn't he afraid that this compromising document might very well be his undoing? He fully trusts your highness, but nonetheless, he would like you to sign a promise, a statement whereby you admit that you fabricated the charges against Lady Rowena. Read it, sire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll never sign this! Sign it, your highness. I have a plan for retrieving that parchment. Mm -hmm. So now you are both bound by honor. I told you he would propose an amicable arrangement. Yes, once again, you were right, Malvoisine. Oh, 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 pardon me, my lords. Well, pick it up, pick it up, man. Clumsy old, that one's not for you. Uh, please forgive me. Let's put this in a safe place. There, the matter's been settled. Ivanhoe impatiently awaits word of our transaction. Where are you going to get my parchment back? Robbing him here would cause suspicion. My men are waiting for him outside. <sighs> are you there? Yes, did you succeed? A piece of cake. Good, give it to me and take this one. Thanks. On your way now, and don't forget, stick to dark alleys and side streets. This part I could do without. <sighs> don't worry, you'll be all right. Just look relaxed. Easy for you to say. If it gets rough, I'll be there. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> Just this, fool! <laughs> Tell your friend Ivanhoe that he'd better cooperate from now on, or we'll be able to prove that he's a traitor who's completely unreliable! Come on, man, let's go! <laughs> Back to your post. Ivanhoe is nothing on us now, sire. He's at our mercy. With this document that Ivanhoe himself signed, he wouldn't dare lift a finger against us. Burn that immediately. As you wish, Your Highness. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll lift the sanction against Rowena and announce that we'll marry. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Here, 
I'd rather you keep it. Now Prince John will have to cooperate with me. But tell me, what's on the other parchments, the ones kept by the prince? The first one that he is so preciously guarding is a recipe for cherry pie that I got from my grandmother. Oh, <laughs> and the second? It's also a recipe. Roast pork with apples. Well, that's quite a feast. Ah, yes. Good food's always been my weakness. Come. John Sovereign of England hereby informs the people of his upcoming marriage to the fair Lady Rowena in a private ceremony. The sanction of banishment recently imposed upon her is hereby lifted by royal decree. The prince is going to marry Rowena. What? The wedding takes place next week. It was just announced in York. Ah, as I expected. John believes I'll let him get away with it. I don't like being underestimated. Where are you going? To breathe the fresh air of Sherwood. Sometimes I don't understand him. Yeah! Well, well, what brings a noble Englishman to such a dangerous place? I need you, Robin. For Richard. For Richard or for Ivanhoe, I'm always ready to do battle. Thank you, my friend. Bravo! Magnificent! You will be the most beautiful bride in the realm, milady. The knight Ivanhoe requests an audience with his majesty. Ivanhoe? What? Fear not, sire. The document guarantees Ivanhoe's silence. You're quite right. Show him in. I've come to offer my congratulations, Your Majesty. Oh, why, thank you, my good Ivanhoe. You shall be a guest on my wedding day. Why, sire, we could even extend an invitation to Ivanhoe's friends. Yes, why not? I feel honored, sire. I'm anxiously awaiting your big wedding day. And now be gone. We have much work to do. Madam! Let her go, Majesty. <clears throat> My lord? Why were you groveling? You acted like his accomplice. Come, my lady. You know very well I'll do anything to prevent this wedding. Trust me. I say, madam, <laughs> your behavior is outrageous. This is no time for you to be bothering a gentleman. I shall take my leave. Bye. I welcome you, my children. We shall now proceed with the marriage vows. Prince John, do you take as your lawfully wedded wife Lady Rowena of Torkelston here present? I do. Lady Rowena of Torkelston, do you take as your lawfully wedded husband John, Prince of England, here present? Your answer, my lady. No, my lady does not. <laughs> Quick, guards! I said guards! Where are you going? It would appear that the ceremony is over, so I am going home. Follow Ivanhoe discreetly. I've got a feeling that he's involved in this kidnapping. Let us straight to his hideout. I thought you'd never mm. get here. I was so afraid. Thank you again, Robin. That took some courage. This mission was a pleasure, Ivanhoe. Milady is a charming companion. 
Well, back to Rotherwood now. We'll find a place to hide you there, my lady. What news? He led us straight to Lady Rowena. She's hiding at Rotherwood. Take two men with you and teach that Ivanhoe a lesson. We have the law on our side. Meanwhile, I'll try to stall for time. Your Highness, Your Grace, I have just learned that Lady Rowena is being held captive at Rotherwood by none other than Ivanhoe. Uh, that's impossible. I must go to Rotherwood and speak with him at once. Front de Buff and Bois Gilbert just left uh, to investigate and take a look. I believe we should wait. No, we'll leave immediately. <laughs> Here they come. Are you sure you don't need my help, Ivanhoe? I'm certain, Harold. I must take care of this myself. I thought that you'd never get here. I gave you boys such good directions. We know that Lady Rowena is here. Release her or we'll resort to force. As you wish. In fact, I could use the exercise. Well, I'm waiting. Come on, seize him! Get him! <laughs> Grab him. He'll finish his life in prison. You'll be rewarded for this act of bravery, men. <clears throat> oh. You're getting weak in your old age, Ivanhoe. Help, Richard! He's pleading to his imprisoned king. Take my strength and fight, Ivanhoe. Just let my spirit guide you. Be brave. Have you seen Ivanhoe? Yes, Majesty. He's holding Lady Rowena prisoner and refuses to cooperate. What more proof do you need, Your Grace? I still can't believe all this. We must speak to him. Be careful. He's gone completely wild. Don't worry. I've just the thing to tame Ivanhoe's fury. You wait here. Huh? Ivanhoe, I've been told it was you who kidnapped Lady Rowena. Is this true? Indeed it is, Your Grace. Well, then explain yourself, please. This marriage is just a farce. King Richard would never accept it. Moreover, Lady Rowena has not consented. I will have her for my wife. You claim to serve our King Richard, yet I have here a document that proves your infidelity. You are a traitor and a liar. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lord. In this parchment, Ivanhoe agrees to abandon Richard in order to win the favors of Lady Rowena. That's impossible. Ivanhoe would give his life for Richard. He's a most valiant defender. Would you like me to read it? Please do, Malvoisin. We can't wait to hear it. You asked for it. On this day, I, Ivanhoe, Knight of Rotherwood, uh, do promise to deliver to His Highness Prince John the complete recipe for cherry pie in a shallow bowl begin by breaking six eggs? You dare to mock us, Malvoisine! Oh, but, <gasps> but, Majesty, I, I don't understand. It's the parchment that, that we... Uh, uh, uh. We'll be sure to try the recipe right away, Malvoisine. Why, I've got a recipe for a much less tasty dish, huh? one that's made of lies, treachery, and disloyalty. This might interest you, Prince. Read it aloud, Your Highness. It might be of interest huh? to everyone. That's enough! A parchment, Your Highness. Now you see it and now you don't. Which one would you like? This one, that one, six or eight? No comment, Your Majesty. Perhaps I should read it. You wouldn't dare. Will someone please explain this? It would take too long, Your Grace, but I will admit that I arranged my own kidnapping. I was an accomplice. You, lady? 
Your Grace, I cannot accept this marriage. Our King Richard is trapped in prison. This is no time for festivities and no time for weddings. Let us wait for Richard's return. What do you think? I'm certain that Prince John has no objections. Do you now, Your Highness? Oh, well, if everyone agrees. Ah, oh, bravo, Rebecca. You're becoming quite the cook. With Prince John's recipe, it was easy, a piece of cake. A gift for our excellent cook. Thank you. 